I am so excited to make this video. Early in medical school, I was struggling on getting the grades that I wanted until I transitioned to using tools like flashcards and popular tools like Anki, which I loved and have made tons of videos about in the past. But while I loved it, I always wished in the back of my head that there was a tool that could combine my note taking, my flashcards, and help store and link all the knowledge I was gaining during my medical journey. And I'm excited to share that I finally found it and it's replaced Anki for me. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lux. I'm a board certified internal medicine physician and currently a second year cardiology fellow. And I can't explain how excited I am to make this video. And after making a few hundred here on YouTube over the past few years, I haven't said that in a long time. But there's two reasons for this. One, I've had this idea and video scripted for quite some time. Just told myself I need to use this tool a little bit longer before I kind of share it with you. And two, because of that, I've used it for the past one and a half years and it's completely replaced popular tools that I've used before in med school and a residency such as Anki. And this is literally how I study now as a physician, as a cardiology fellow for all my board exams that I'm so, so excited to share with you. So today we're going to break down the tool that I am absolutely in love with called the RemNote. Now this is going to be a long video because I'm going to show you the nitty gritties, the features that I love, as well as how I use it daily as a cardiology fellow, how to have used it in medical school and how you can use it in your day to day. So make sure you look at the descriptions, all the timestamps, just be able to jump between the videos and to come back for your own reference. And by no means will I be able to cover all of the awesome features that this tool allows you to. So in future videos, I'll go ahead and cover the ones that you guys are most interested in. And before I forget, a lot of the features that I'll kind of break down this video are actually included in RemNote's free plan, which is just amazing. But there are a few features that they have in their pro plan that I think are actually true game changers. And I'll share those in this video. If you want to go ahead and give any of those to test run for a free month, go ahead and use the link down below in the description. Thanks to our friends at RemNote. We'll actually give you access to both their free as well as paid features entirely free for the first month. So without further ado, let's just get into it. What in the world is RemNote? Why do I think it is so much better than Anki? And honestly, it's just the ability to combine all of the features that you typically use when you study, including the ability to take notes and make outlines and make flashcards and connect ideas and study for an exam all in one place. And so I really wish there was something like this when I was in med school. And so the fact that it exists now, I have used it extensively, as you guys can see, for my cardiology fellowship. So just to give you a sneak peek, RemNote kind of combines tools like Microsoft Word or Google Doc, plus things like Anki or Quizlet, plus things like Notion, where you can kind of have databases and pages within pages and create tables. And so you can essentially have your entire academic life in one tool. And they're constantly adding more and more features, especially with the utility of AI that's just making this even more enhanced, which I'll share later in the episode. So as you can see, I've actually used RemNote pretty extensively during my past two years in cardiology fellowship, essentially collecting all the information that I didn't understand or want to remember. And all these arrows, which we'll get into later in the episode, are flashcards that I've made from things that I've missed or have learned and kind of pictures of things that I wanted to keep on to, guidelines, as well as things like studies. And so if I read a study as a cardiology fellow and I want to remember them as a cardiologist, and I can essentially use RemNote as a second brain to store all that information, all the highlights, but also can kind of tag things. So if I want to look at all of the journals that I have read over time, it'll kind of link together and I can just pull them all at once in case I want to flip through things. And then finally, as a tease of what we'll talk about in the video, I can also pretend as if I was studying for an exam, so I could use all of these documents, all of the things that I would say is coming from my upcoming board exam, say when my board exam is, and have RemNote essentially tell me these are how many flashcards you should do every single day to feel prepped for your exam coming up in November. But before we get into the individual features, for anyone who's interested, I'm just going to break down actually how to sign up for RemNote, how to get it on your phone. The nice thing about RemNote is that in addition to having the computer option and a desktop version, they actually have an app both for iOS as well as Android. Unlike Anki, however, the app is actually free, which I think is amazing because I can use my entire database on RemNote updated on my laptop. But then if I'm sitting in a lecture that a professor or an attending is giving as a cardiology fellow, I can pull my phone and just add those to my notes and my database will just get updated across all the platforms, which is amazing. If you're interested in looking at the pricing, this may change depending on when you're watching this. Most of the features that I really love are actually included in the free plan. And if you want to go ahead and give RemNote and some of the features I will talk about in this episode a uh, test drive for a free month, then go ahead and use the link down below in the description and RemNote will actually give you all of the pro features for an entire month just for absolutely free just so you can get the kind of experience but some of them that I do think are really worth it include the exam scheduler the image occlusion and one that I really like as a cardiology fellow is the file upload section which just allows you to upload really large document sizes and then annotate from them and for the amount of problems that I think it solves for medical students for really anyone on their medical or academic journey I think the price is like very good deal but once you're ready to sign up for RemNote just go ahead and click try RemNote for free sign up with your Google or Apple account and then it's going to kind of give you an initial training or overview of how to use RemNote in case anything from this video is a little unclear. Now, once you set up your account, you're going to come to a bare version of this page where you essentially get to kind of create an editor or 
create kind of your own versions of kind of a hub like I've created. And so if you, for example, want to have around your school from your personal life, from like your kind of personal hobbies, you can do so on the account by just kind of clicking here and choosing whether you want to create a folder or a document or even annotate or and upload other specific files. For this matter, we're just going to kind of do an example section. So we may go ahead and create a folder that's going to say lectures. Okay, the spell the name right, which is amazing. We're just gonna pretend like I'm studying in college again, pre-med. And for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna kind of add some of my pre-med classes that I absolutely loved. That is full sarcasm. So biochem being one, let's do organic chemistry, another class that made me cry. And then we'll just do like medical terminology or something, okay. So now you essentially kind of created a hub for all of your classes in college or med school, whatever it may be. And then each of them have their own specific hub. And so as you can imagine, you can create more documents or you can kind of have sections that may be block one, block two, for all your classes. And if you click on the individual bullet, it'll actually open it as if it was another page, which I think is really nice because then I could add something like lecture one lecture two. And then as I'm listening or reviewing for lecture one, I can click on this bullet point again, and then it goes into almost like another document within a document. So you've kind of created something like a OneNote if you ever use Microsoft Office or Google Docs and everything is kind of just layered in itself. So you've just created a big digital notebook, which I think is really nice. But now let's say I'm going and studying something for biochem and the professor is talking. You can take notes just like you did before and do no bullet notes if you wanted to kind of create an outline and just type things there. I personally like using the bullet notes function, just it makes things look cleaner and also allows you to change things to flashcards. So as an example, let's say we're learning about different types of chemical bonds and you can either take this and write them as a question. Often what I do is I just write the phrase out and you can create the outline or you can use features in RemNote where you can do things like two equal signs and or just do an arrow going forward. And now you're basically telling RemNote that anything after this kind of arrow is going to be the back end of a flashcard. And so I can copy this and you kind of are already getting a tease of this, but RemNote actually has an AI function that they're slowly releasing out. So you can see it's already kind of creating a flashcard based off of the question that I wrote without me having to do anything. So I'm actually gonna use their answer. So with that, voila, I already have a flashcard from this initial lecture. Now on the flip side, let's say I created a flashcard where I wanted to know things on both sides. Let's say you're learning a language, for example, or something like medical terminology, where the answer could be the front or the back of what you write. And so you can just do an arrow going both ways, and then I'll kind of give you a two-sided arrow that just basically creates a flashcard that's bilateral. And so I'll just write the same thing for this purpose. And the last version that I really enjoy using that I actually abuse a lot in RemNote is just like you were clicking a flashcard, you would kind of go ahead and do two forward arrows um, or two equal signs. And before you do anything, you just press enter and it creates kind of a multi-layered flashcard. So instead of just doing front and back, you can have a multiple choice kind of flashcard where there's lots of things involved. So I can write, for example, let's just do their tab. This is the AI function. I didn't write any of this, but essentially it's saying, all right, Lux, to get this flashcard right, you need to know all six of these. So just to give you an example of what this looks like, we've taken three pieces of note, each of them having their corresponding topic, which RemNote calls a rem. And we've created four flashcards, so this one is going to be your front and back. So three with these being two flashcards. And just to kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of what this looks like, the first question is what is covalent bond? This is our two-sided flashcard that we made, and it's just gonna go to show the other side. And if you've used Anki, it's going to look very similar um, in terms of your options. So you can say, I forgot this, show it to me again in a minute, or I really know this well, show it to me again in four days. We're gonna say, I knew that, because the answer is the answer. Let's say, I didn't know this one, then I'm gonna say forgot. And I wanna show the multi-level, which is again, my favorite, is you can just click show answers, but unlike Anki, I can actually say, all right, first, I want you to show me multiple answers, but I can actually click the ones that I didn't remember. So let's say out of these six, I didn't remember these three. I can say, you know, partially recalled, um, and then I'm gonna say keep practicing because RemNote already thinks that I've studied enough for the day, which I appreciate. But the next time it shows me the multiple cards, I'm going to first quiz myself on those three that I missed. And so it's a nice way for it to continue to kind of show me the weaknesses that I have in a multitude of fashions, as well as just allow me to create different types of flashcards very, very quickly. And again, if you are not a flashcard person, you by no means have to create this. You can write your normal notes and use again, the no uh, bullet point 
option if you want to just kind of write your notes and have a big outline. I'm going to show a few features in a second of how you can make your notes a little bit more enhanced, but the ability to make flashcards within an outline is just amazing. And as another advantage over Anki, you can actually create a flashcard within a flashcard. So let's say you were creating this outline and you said that you wanted to make a flashcard about the types of covalent bonds. Then I can do something like this and actually make, you know, specific flashcards just about the types. And so RemNote will show me a flashcard that will look like this, as well as this big flashcard that will encompass all of these topics. You can imagine how useful this is of quickly making your notes without feeling like you have to make an individual flashcard for every single question you have to ask. Now, a few other basic features that I think are really helpful of knowing in RemNote is just if you're somebody who likes to make your documents look a little bit prettier, maybe you're creating a big document, maybe you're like preparing for a research project and your document is getting very large, you can go ahead and bold over anything um, and change the functionality of what it looks like. So your headings, plain text, you can make it into, you know, a heading three, you can bold things, you can underline them. If you want to use something similar to Anki where you have a closed deletion, where let's say you want to pick a word and say, I want to essentially have a flashcard that makes me answer this for specific part of it. You can just click something like this. So in this example, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. We'll just go ahead and hide the word mitochondria. So it's perfect again for using things for like language and anatomy and whatever it may be. But another great tool that Anki has, you can also use in RemNote. And you can also highlight things that you think are important using either the shortcuts or just again, highlighting them and creating your own color scheme. The last feature that I think is actually super powerful that I know Anki has, but honestly, I found it to be really hard to use in Anki, are tags and references. So let's just use an example where I'm in my biochem class, my professor is going through the lectures and intermittently they have a habit of saying this can easily be tested or this will be on the test or high yield. Wouldn't it be nice if I can just add one tag as I'm creating my notes across all my documents about biochem throughout the month, the block, and especially before the final exam, and then add something that just said high yield. Well, with RemNote, you can, and it's a lot easier again than Anki. So imagine that the professor mentions that, you know, you need to know the types of covalent bonds. I can do two hashtags and essentially kind of put a tag on them. So let's just say I call this high yield, and I'm gonna create a rem called high yield. And now you can see it's kind of added that. And I'm gonna do it in a few other places. Let's do one more. Let's do the first one. So again, it's just two hashtags. Um, and now you can see that all the places that that document, maybe there in the lecture, the professor mentioned that it could be high yield, it's going to have this tag on. And so the nice thing is, is that now if I click on this or if I search this in RemNotes function, so the nice thing is that it'll show me all of the documents, all of the REMs across every document that I've made in biochem or beyond that has high yield. And so obviously we've only made one document in the example, but if I was to have made lecture two or 23, it would show me all of them so I could easily go into them, but also just show me kind of a broad's eye view of everything. So imagine you're studying for your test and the last thing you want to do is not remember something that was labeled as high yield. You can just click this before your quiz and test and then look up all of these things and make sure you can actually answer those flashcards. The nice thing about RemNote is that you can do flashcards essentially within anything. So even within a reference, it's just going to show me the flashcards that I've created that have a tag of high yield. So at the same time, if you've made a tag for yourself that's like typical and I'm listening to a lecture, I'm creating something in my document that is actually very challenging, I can create a tag that says super hard luck, whatever it may be, and then just go through those before I have my test to make sure that I do the flashcards and the most difficult topics that I have, and then make sure that those are nailed down and then take the tag away if I feel like I've mastered something. Now, one of the last features of basic flashcard creation that I think is super important that people obviously are going to ask about are things like image occlusion. So let's say I took a picture of something like the brachial plexus, super important thing to know in medical school, especially in anatomy. The nice thing about images and RemNote is that you can kind of move them within your document. So let's say I wanted to move it within this bullet point, I can close it off, I'm gonna open it up and it just, it just makes things a lot cleaner, which I'm a big fan of. But if you wanted to do image occlusion, you could just click your picture, copy and paste, works really fine to add photo. And then this button right here will allow you to make flashcards from the image. Similar to Anki, you can go ahead and kind of pick kind of things that you wanted to create. So let's say I wanted to make a flashcard on the class division trunks, etc., as well as all of the cervical and thoracic levels. I could do so and this would work just fine. Or I can say, you know, RemNote, your AI function's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and create it and boom, 
like significantly faster than anything I could do. It found every single piece of word that potentially, or you know, terminology that could potentially turn into a flashcard. And you can delete these um, if you felt like it was not useful, um, or if you needed to create one for each of them. And so again, saves a lot of time. This is included in the pro version, but for how much time it just saved me there, tons of flashcards. And if you want to see what it looks like, it will show you now just the individual things of everything that it created. So super useful. Again, another kind of quick feature that RumNode includes that allows you to kind of combine that entire outline model, which your ability to do flashcards, image occlusions, closed deletions, and, and again, my favorite, which is to doing this multi-level flashcard tool. Now the features that we've talked about so far are just some of my favorites that RumNode has to offer. We'll break down a few more in a second, but hopefully you're already starting to see the picture that I could use this tool on my own journey to help make things a lot easier. In a second, we'll talk about how to use their exam scheduling tool, how to upload documents and annotate from them. It's a huge game changer, especially if you're using a lot of syllabi and PDFs, as well as their community feature, which is kind of a hidden gem and something ideally that is going to be a big game changer going in the future. But just remember, if you can see yourself using Remno in your day to day and definitely want to give some of those pro features a try, go ahead and check out the link in the description to get one month free on the pro plan, as well as all the free features that you'll have for a lifetime. So we're going to go back to our example of our biochem class. So just for the sake of this example, I essentially copied everything from lecture one into lecture two. But one thing you can do really nicely with Remno is to kind of practice for your exam and it's going to start giving you a certain amount of flashcards depending on how close or far away your test is. So at the top of any document or RemNote, you can do all the flashcards associated with it. Or if you're studying for a specific lecture within a quiz or a test block, you can just do the flashcards from them as well. You can also go into that document and then just do all the flashcards that way. But let's say you're studying for your biochem final and you want to go ahead and start prepping for it. So one thing you can say is biochem is going to be, let's say, an exam related class. And I want to say that my test right now in October is going to be the end of November. So I have a little bit over two months to do it. And RemNote kind of has these options where you can start today and it's going to give you a certain amount of flashcards and a certain amount of repetitions between now and test day. You can also use what currently is their beta function that allows you to kind of include breaks into your study plan. And then finally, something that allows you to start a little bit later, but just kind of crams more repetitions towards the latter end. So pick whichever applies to you. And then using RemNote's kind of daily scheduler, you can get a certain amount of flashcards that you have to do every single day. And because of the easy access of your app through your iPhone or your Android, you can easily do your flashcards and reviews for your classes on your phone as well as your laptop. Now, since we're talking about practicing flashcards, just like Anki, you can do things like statistics as well as looking at a card table where you can kind of look at all of your cards in one single spot. And if you wanted to kind of get a nosedive or make some quick edits, you can do that as well. The next advanced feature that I want to share with you guys about RemNote is how to upload a document and use it to be able to annotate as well as make flashcards from something like your syllabi. Instead of having to retype everything, you can just take your text. So in this example, you can go through a page and at the top of every page, you have the option of uploading a document. So this right here is a document that I uploaded of all the guidelines on how to use a transesophageal echo, something that I need to do as a cardiology fellow, all of the maneuvers, techniques, how to do measurements, what things look like, and basically a 44 page document, probably not too unsimilar from what I was seeing in medical school. And so it can be overwhelming to have this document and then try to make notes from it. Why not just use your document to make your flashcards take your notes? And so RemNet easily allows you to do this. So for example, let's say that I was going to take this line right here. I could go ahead and highlight it if I just wanted to just make, you know, annotations on the document itself. But I can also, RemNote has identified that I've highlighted that. So I just control, control V right here. It will take everything that I just highlighted and add it. I'll even link where I kind of found it on the document. So when you have 44 pages of information, it can quickly find your thing. It'll bookmark it. You can do the same thing if you have an image, you can go ahead and kind of scroll over it and essentially choose, you know, what you want to do from it. Maybe I want to make image occlusion charts from this part of it and I can do more or less the same thing that we did earlier, where I can choose different parts of this image and kind of box over them and make each of those individual flashcards if I choose. One of my favorite ways of using this feature is that because I can use the highlight and quickly just kind of adding functions to this. This is my quick way of having multiple references. So if I wanted to upload large kind of journal articles as I'm reading about them or big research pieces, there's specific lines that they mentioned that are really important. I can just highlight and kind of add them. So then I have like a big summary of all the important things I need to know from the document. So if I had something that I needed to go back to, I can just go ahead and click on one of these links and exactly take me to the spot in the article or the document where that was mentioned. So really nice feature. You can essentially create yourself a big outline of all the high yield information in one spot 
lot while having the document easily readily accessible for you to be able to go through and get the little details. Now the final feature that I'm going to break down for the purposes of this episode to avoid making it too long is the community feature. Now this is something that RemNode is constantly going to be improving on but think of your easy access that you get through Anki where you can download and install cards from other people. RemNode allows you to do the same thing except you can use this for any topic and I think it's a lot easier to navigate all the databases that people have created much better than Anki where you kind of have to Google or find Reddit posts of somebody linking to their Anki deck. So if you go to remnode.com backslash community you can essentially see all the topics they have. So if we're using medicine for example you can click on medicine and then it's going to essentially allow you to go a little bit further in. So you can go clinical medicine. I think if we went back it would actually give me the ability to look for documents that people have made specifically for things like board studying so I can see step one if you're studying for your MCAT. This will get more robust as more people use RemNode and maybe more people will be kind of like the main drivers to create their own versions of Anki or Zonki deck by using RemNote. So great tool and another kind of quick way to kind of look through all the information people have made to just make your process of note taking a lot easier. Now for the final part of this video I just want to kind of show you how I lay my RemNote out and I kind of use it as a home base. So you can have RemNote allow you to do things like to-do tasks. So under this I have all my to-dos and just as an example you know if I wanted to do topics to do I can also allow myself to kind of create a to-do list. So if you do backslash, allow you to kind of have a checkbox system. So then I can have multiple to-dos if I wanted to, and I can check these off as I go through my day. But as you can see here, I have kind of a cardiology homepage where I have all the information that I've kind of stored over my about one and a half years of fellowships. So all the lectures that I'm listening to, all the studies that I've kind of gathered, as well as topics that I've kind of individually have learned about, as well as things like board studying. So specifically, when I'm studying or reading about something in my board exams or doing practice questions, I have a section for just questions. These are questions that I've missed over the past year. It's going to be in three years when I take my board exam. So I can easily just do flashcards from here because ideally these are all the missed topics that I've had over the past three years at that time before I go into my board exam and I'll make sure that I know all these stone cold. So you can see if I go into something like general cardiology, these are all kind of topics or questions that I may have missed or maybe got the question right but maybe didn't understand the whole concept. And I've turned these into multi-level flashcards for the most part but I've also included images if I wanted to and go the extra step. I could have done the image occlusion but just really easy way of kind of creating a big kind of second brain of all the things that I've forgotten with the photos that I have kind of attached of being EKGs or diagrams and so super super helpful. As another example I have a section again about all the studies that I've kind of read. These are just a few examples that are in this page and as you can see I kind of added tags. So for example this one says prevention so if I wanted to click here it would show me all the prevention articles I've ever read. If I wanted to click on this one this will probably say is AFib so I can find all the other articles I read about AFib and so it just allows you to get really granular of looking through all the information that I've stored in this situation over the past three years for you during med school, during residency, for all of your career. You can add your personal things, right? You can add a second kind of home base of all your recipes, all the things that you learn, all the kind of links that you find online. And so just a really cool, easy way to not make everything necessarily a flashcard, but just have the ability to transition between learning and storing, taking notes, just having things as a central hub, using your to-do list. And so I kind of leave my system like this for the time being, just because there's no need to kind of make it look pretty, just because I know where I need to go every single day. Now again, these are just a few of the features, but really robust ways of how you can use RemNote to just make your entire learning, really entire life as a student get a lot better, especially as a trainee. And so if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comment section what other questions you have about RemNote, if you used it, what experiences you've had. And again, if any of these features, particularly things like image occlusion, uploading big documents without any kind of limitation on your space that you can do so, as well as the exam scheduler, which all of those three features I think are huge pluses, go ahead and use the link down below to get access to all of them plus all the pro features for an entire month absolutely free plus again all the amazing free features that RemNote includes. This is not by any means going to be the only video that I make about RemNote because again I've been using it for the past almost two years now and it's worked super well for me way better than Anki. Never thought I would have a resource that would kind of surpass that but I'm really glad I found this. So again super thrilled I was finally able to sit down make this video for you guys show you the nuances of RemNote and hopefully you've watched this video and like ah finally feel like I have something I'm excited to kind of instill. My biggest recommendation to end this video off is to start RemNote and can keep the process simple. Don't get too complicated by having too many broad ways to make flashcards or too many home pages or whatever it may be. Have one simple way to store all your classes, all your lectures, and then just get into making flashcards and reviewing those. That's the most important part of learning in the first place. And then as you get more familiar with how RemNote works and how you best like to use it, then make it look prettier and up your alley. So again, my friends, hopefully this video gave you a lot of insight on a resource. Hopefully that will make you 
your life a lot easier. Again, if you're interested, that link is down below. If by no means, if you don't want to use my link, just go ahead and look up remnote.com. Using the link down below does support the channel, so super appreciative of those you guys do. No pressure if you choose not to. And as always, if this video is at all helpful to you, let me know in the comment section first of all. It's my favorite way of interacting with you guys. And number two, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button to support the channel and ideally get this video in front of more people so they can say, oh, maybe there's more tools and Quizlet and Anki out there for me. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. And if you want more topics like this, I made an entire video right here on all of the tools and study techniques that I used to get a 3.9 GPA medical school. Go ahead and check that out. And as always, thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Hopefully today we were a little help to you guys on yours. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.